All right, welcome to day 18. And from here on out, we're going to be doing all exercises uh, without a chessboard. So we just got three days left. And how this works for these next uh, three days is we have a piece listed on the left side and a piece listed on the right side in these exercises. And what we want to do is we want to name all the squares from which the first piece can safely attack the second, second piece. So our first exercise is to name all the squares from which a queen on f1 can safely attack a black rook on b7. So you want to be careful that you don't uh, include a square that the b7 rook can attack because you have to safely attack the second piece with the first piece. So then the second exercise is how name all the squares uh, from which a white queen on e4 can safely attack a black rook on d8. The third one is name all the squares from which a queen on f3 can safely attack a rook on c1. And then finally, all the squares from which a white queen on d1 could safely attack a black rook on h8. So go ahead and just pause this video. I'll let it run for a few seconds here. And then we'll start looking at the answers. And uh, just uh, don't get too frustrated um, if you miss a lot of these. That's expected. And uh, the important thing is to just keep, um, just keep flexing that visualization muscle. And um, this will get easier over time. All right, so let's look at the first uh, exercise, and that was with a queen on f1 and a rook on b7. And the thing to note is that the rook controls the b file and the seventh rank. So any squares on that rank and file are off limits for the queen. So we can't attack from f7. We cannot attack from b5 or b1. Um, but what we can attack from is we can operate along this long light squared diagonal so we can attack from f3, g2, h1 and safely attack this rook. And we can also attack it safely from a6. So that's the answer for the first one. And let's get the second one set up and look at the answer to that. All right, so the second exercise was a queen on e4 and a rook on d8. And so once again, let's just note that the d file is covered by the rook as well as the eighth rank. And so d5, d4, and d3 are off limits to the queen as well as e8 and a8. So that leaves us with just attacking the rook along this h4 to d8 diagonal. And so we can safely do that from both e7 and h4. So e7 and h4 are the squares that we can safely attack the rook on d8. So let's move on to the next one. All right, for exercise three, we have a queen on f3 and a rook on c1. So once again, the c file is off limits and the first rank is off limits. So we cannot safely attack from d1, f1, h1, c3, or c6. But we can safely attack along the c1 to h6 diagonal, so we can safely attack from f4 and e3, and we can also safely attack from a3. All right, let's uh, go to the last one. All right, and so finally we have a queen on d1 and a rook on h8. And of course, the H file is off limits as well as the eighth rank. So we cannot safely check on D8, H5, or H1, which basically leaves us 
this long dark square diagonal to act on. And we can safely check that rook, or safely attack that rook, I should say, from d4 and a1 along the dark, long dark square diagonal. So we're going to have similar exercises the next two days. Um, we'll be doing bishops as well as rooks. Um, those can be a bit tricky. And, um, you know, don't be frustrated if you missed a lot of these or if you miss squares that the rook covers, that's all right. Um, we want to just keep pushing hard, kind of flexing that visualization muscle. And um, I think you'll find that you um, are better off than, than when you started this course. And if you continue to practice over time, you'll be able to solve um, questions like these. So let's uh, continue on and we'll see you uh, tomorrow on day 19.